As a new day rises on the Ole Miss track and field program, the past and present descended upon Oxford to celebrate the grand opening of their new home. Greetings and welcome to the brand new Ole Miss track and field complex. You know, really exciting times. You know, we're hosting our, uh, our first home cross country meet in a long, long time tonight out at FNC Park. We have several uh, special guests who you'll hear from uh, from the podium who will speak. I'm, I'm just really so glad to be here today uh, to be with Ross, you, uh, Coach Connie, Price Smith, and to help celebrate this exciting ribbon cutting. Hey everyone, my name's Sam and I'm a rebel. <laughs> you know, I'm not just a rebel, I'm also an Oxford boy. And like Ross said here, that I'm, I'm hoping that everybody here might have heard a little bit of my story and be proud of Oxford and what we as uh, Mississippians can attain. Yeah, when I first got to Ole Miss, it was a great experience. You know, I remember sitting in the car and just looking around. Oh, wow, this is my new home. And I was sold on the idea of coming here to build up the program. And I thought that was really cool. Um, so since we've been here, I thought I'd just highlight some of the accomplishments as a team. Um, we've qualified two years in a row on the guys' side uh, for nationals, which has never been done before. Um, I couldn't ask for a better family to be a part of. So I'm really excited about uh, the future and what the future has to hold. We are truly building momentum. We are in greater demand than ever before. We have doubled our size in the last 20 years as an indicator of where this university is going. And with this new track brings the new normal, and that is to bring championships, titles, records, and everything else to Ole Miss. Um, I always, always just say almost is whatever you put into it, but it's not the case. Almost is what the people there allow you to do, and I'm lucky to have such great people. The program is heading in the right direction for sure. Um, we have big things to come. Now they have a home where they can come back and compete and train. The opening ceremonies for the day concluded, it was time to set the stage for the main event and welcome back cross country to Oxford for the inaugural Rebel Invite. <music> Awaiting the starting gun first would be a group of Rebel women anxious to achieve. It was a good night for racing, it wasn't too hot, it wasn't too cold. The team was really excited, the mood was light and happy. and. I think we were just all really excited to see where we were as a team. Van Hoy really stressed like we're going to work together in the race, so I think it kind of brought um, the stress level down. 50 should be kind of the limit of where we are in the first mile. So nobody should be faster than that. It's okay to be a little bit slower than that. If your race plan for yourself is to run a little bit slower, that's fine. He told us to go out conservative and kind of build through the race. So he said, like, go out behind the leaders and see what happens. Nobody's faster than 550, okay? I'll be at the mile. If it's faster than 550, I'm <laughs> <laughs> When we get past the second mile, let's start pushing mile three. Let's work together all the way through the end. As the Rebel women continue to glide the program to new heights, for the first time in seven years, the cross-country team finds themselves competing under an Oxford sunset, and it always feels good to be home. It felt just like practice, actually. Um, my favorite part about cross-country is the team aspect, so running with the girls was fun, and we were kind of talking in the middle of it at the beginning, like, this will be fine, like, we got this. And it was just a cool experience. So we finished the first mile about 5.44, and then we progress from there. The first two miles are about the same and then the last mile we dropped so much. We knew we were going to race together as a pack so we had a pack of like 20 girls in that race or something but it was really cool to like look to my left and my right ahead behind and we were all together. It was a very exciting race. It's kind of that last mile we came through and he's like okay like go get those girls in front of you like this is our home, we shouldn't be getting beat, so. I know at one point we saw there was a girl like gapping us and someone was like, hey, we should definitely go up and get her. So we work together and make sure everyone's feeling all right and listening to their breathing, like definitely working together, looking around at everyone, but 
we like to move up as a pack because it looks pretty cool. <laughs> I mean, we're intimidating. There wasn't many places to watch the race, so there was one spot where everyone could be, and when we came down that stretch, it was everybody was there. With the sun setting and the crowd roaring at the finish line, the Rebels raced to a dominant 1-2-3 finish that would set the tone for the second half of the inaugural event. Hey, I don't want any faster than 5 minutes at the mile, 10 minutes at 2 miles up front, okay? No! So for those of us that if we didn't run 20 minutes for 4 miles at Memphis and we ran, we should be a little bit off of that, okay? The first lap around the course was really dusty because there was such a huge pack all together just running through, so that kicked up a lot of dust. We did start out more aggressively just to try to get in the front of the pack so we weren't having to bump around and fight for, fight for position or anything like that. We wanted to keep our pack together for the most part. We were gonna go through half the race all together and then the top guys were supposed to bring it down each mile. There's nothing better than having the feeling of a teammate with you while you're racing, just working together and seeing what you can do. Towards the end of the race with like the last mile or so to go, when we knew that we were all safely in front, we just decided to back it off a little bit because there's no need to kill ourselves or anything like that. It's tough to get support in a cross country race, so this is the most support I've ever seen for this team and it's unbelievable, I love it. It is nice to have a group out here, it's nice to have a bit of support, so you know, it's good vibe. Yeah, I'm hoping for some bigger meets here in the future, so it's been fun. I think a finish like that gives us a lot of confidence. It tells us that our training's been working and that we're ready to do great things. The Rebs would have the luck of the Irish on their side the following weekend at Notre Dame, as both men and women earned the right to be nationally ranked for the first time in program history. People don't really expect us to do anything, but We've kind of just been working, and we are kind of hoping to surprise people this season. Every single year is a completely different experience. Like, when I came in freshman year, I would not envision myself where I am now, like, with this potential, like, to go to NCAAs. I think if we just um, don't let pressure get to us or don't um, try and meet an expectation, then we can accomplish what we want to accomplish. This past summer, we saw the rise of a top-of-the-line track facility, returned the nationally recognized cross-country team back to Mississippi, and we stopped in our tracks to witness current and former Rebels compete on a global stage. With momentum firmly behind the entire athletics program, the Rebels continue to rise. It's amazing, because it just seems like a big deal now. You know, we're a sport that people don't really look at that much, but I think with Raven going to the Olympics, like the entire campus like knows who she is and knows the track team and knows we're on the rise and like we're getting to where we should be and I think the hype is really big, which is really like motivating for our team to have to go out and like live up to the hype and I think it's fun. Practice with the team, finish with the team, win with the team. <laughs>